This is the freshly installed copy of Windows 7 and on this PC I'm going to install VAM server. To do that, go to your browser and search for VAM server. Go to this link, click download. My OS is 32 bits, so I'm going to install this. Here is the link to download BAM, but before that, you also need to install one thing. To do that, click on this link and download Visual C redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 update 4. Simply download and for 32 bit version, that's x86. Click next. And you can see the download has been started, but I already have installed this, so I'm going to cancel this. Revamp again. And download. Click on this link. And now, click this link for downloading VAM server. And wait for a few seconds, and your download will begin. So, it has been started. I'm also going to cancel this because I already have downloaded this. So let's install these programs and downloads. And before installing VAM, we need to install this. Run. I agree to the license. Install. So that's successful. Click close. And now I'm going to install VAM server. Next, accept the agreement. Next, so that's going to be installed in C, and in that, there's a directory BAMP. Next, create a desktop icon. Next, install. Cancel this. Click next. And launch VAM Server 2 now and finish. And you can see that this icon is appearing here, and when this will turn into green, and this indicates that our VAM server is running and is ready to be used. So click localhost, and if you're able to see this page, then this indicates that your VAM server has been installed properly. So this is how you install VAM server on a Windows machine and we will continue to develop our web application using VAM server in PHP.